playing with the Peaceful Cabins bundle today. And I have gone back and forth about whether or not I want this. And after playing with it and making one card with it, I decided, yes, I do want it. It was so simple, so easy, and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful set. I happen to love Christmas, but I love winter in general. I love the white snow. In fact, when we were um, just up in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire for a couple days away, they had on their TV screen in one of the restaurants we were in some people snowmobiling in just loads and loads of white powdery snow and it was so beautiful um, so that's what the set reminds me of and so i hope you enjoy it as well it's going to make some great christmas cards but it also just makes some great winter cards and for all of you except for reba probably um <laughs> reba who lives in the south um you're you're going to be seeing winter before you know it next week i promise i'll be back to fall themed cards for a couple weeks at least but um, let's get started so I'm going to actually show you two cards tonight to show you how easy they are I'm going to start with a basic gray pad and the stamp set I'm gonna get the trees out now the trees come all on one block now you could if you wanted to cut them apart but if you get the bundle with the dies you're not going to want to do that because the three they're on one on one die so let's go ahead and we're going to ink this up and if i recall my basic gray pad might be it's an old style one so it might be on its way out i don't know i'm just going to move it over a little bit Stamp some more. We've got trees in the foreground and trees in the background. And now I, I stamped off the side here, so I don't want to do a second generation stamping right now because what will happen is I may get a line from where it hit the edge of the cardstock. So if I want some trees in the back here, I'm going to stamp off and then I will put some more in right there. Okay, so now I have a pretty good forest going on. And next up, I need my cabin. But my cabin is going to require this big block too. So let's go ahead and clean this stamp, which I'm sure Sheila would appreciate if I cleaned the stamp she loaned me. Sheila's on here, by the way, so thank you so much for making this Friday Night Live possible, Sheila. All right. I'm going to bring in another card here, and I'm going to stamp my cabin. Now, my cabin, I want to go um, to be about here, so I don't know, an inch and a quarter or so down from the top. I'm going to bring it in here. Let's just stamp it right there. Also in the basic gray. So I'm using a monochromatic look for right now. And I'm going to hold off on doing any more stamping right now. I need to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine so that I can die cut that cabin out. Let me move this real quickly. This card goes together so quickly. It's fantastic. It's one of those that's going to wow people. Also, I came home to tonight new cutting plates, which I desperately needed. I'm going to just line this up. And because it's so long and skinny, I am actually going to hold that down with a piece of uh, probably post-it note if I can find one. I mean, I literally just walked in the door not too long after getting home so I could walk in the craft room door, I should say. 
All right, this is a full-size sticky, so I'm just gonna unstick it a little bit. Make sure I've got that. All right, centered over there. Run this through my stamp and cut and emboss. Always, you want to remove the sticky carefully. I probably should have just used a little piece. Would have made my life a whole lot easier. Also, if it were just a regular, um, a regular sticky, and not one of those full stick ones, that would have made my life easier too. But who's going for easy? Apparently not me. Okay, I'm going to end up doing this again later, so remind me to cut some off. All right, now notice it didn't go all the way to the end. That's all right. I'm just going to snip this off here. Nobody's the wiser. So here's my cabin. Let me bring back my trees. And my cabin is going to go right there in front. Now, in order to set it apart a little bit, I'm... I will be using dimensionals. However, I want to do something else first. And that is I want to come in and stamp one more thing. And that is this cute little fox that's right here. Now I had posted two samples, I think, of what the project that we were doing tonight. And that one, um, I, I'm going to make switch it up just a little bit here. because I had an epiphany. Let's see, let's have this fox roaming the foreground. So we have this sweet little, um, sweet little scene going on. I'm trying to get my um, comments to keep showing on my iPad. I'm not sure why they keep disappearing. All right. I'm going to also mount this word, uh, the sentiment, your kindness makes the whole, makes the world a more beautiful place to be. Beautiful sentiment. Make sure I stamp it straight, which hmm, you know how that goes because I'm not stamping directly over. Okay, there we go. That actually looks really pretty good. I cheated, I stood up and was practically over it. Now, here's what I wanna do. In, well, before I do that, let me mount a few things. I also came home to some new Seal Plus, I mean Seal, which I'm so excited to have back. I was out after my class. I had to do an emergency order. All right. I'm gonna pop this up on dimensionals. I can do this last step just fine without um, without um, having it unmounted. I'm just putting some dimensionals around here. Keep that whole thing popped up. That just creates some depth between the cabin and the forest. Oop. It's a snowy day here and wherever this is taking place. The north woods of somewhere. All right. Now here is the idea that I came up with. You know how, now I'm gonna date myself here. So Schindler's List, who's seen the movie Schind Schindler's List? Oh, I'm trying to get your comments. I don't know. Swipe left. Okay. Who has seen Schindler's List? So if you've seen that, it's a black and white movie, except for there's one thing that is colored in there. Anybody remember what it was? It was a little girl's red coat. So I'm going to take my pumpkin pie marker. This is, happens to be the light one. And I'm going to, 
And I'm gonna take the dark one just to add a little bit more. Around. And look, it's all white except for my little fox. Isn't that adorable? I think it's adorable. Even if it's uh, just a teeny tiny little piece. Now, of course, it's a snowy scene, so you can actually um, take some Wink of Stella. And this is a brand new brush, so I should have gotten it started before I came on. So to get it started, you're just going to push where it says push. Oh, I don't have time for this. You don't have time for this. I'm gonna get my old one. All right, it's old, it's still got stuff in it though. All right, and I'm just gonna add some sparkle to the roof. I'm gonna add some just randomly out here, you know, some glimmers where the snow is sparkling. There we go. And I could, if I wanted to, add some snow uh, by just, I'm gonna take the one that has the alcohol added. Um, it just thinned it down a little bit. This was, so when you're almost out of Wink of Stella, you can unscrew this piece. You can take off this baffle, this black piece right here, and add a couple drops of alcohol, shake it up, and that gives the Wink of Stella that's kind of dried or, or just latent in the inside of the barrel, new life. And then you can flick it on your cardstock and it makes nice snow up in the background. And you're not gonna probably be able to see that on camera, but there is some sparkle in here. So that's a quick and simple card, right? Of course, we need. I need to finish the inside of this. I think that this, your kindness makes the world a more beautiful place, sounds like it's a, um, a thank you. So I'm gonna leave the inside blank, except for we need to put in something. I'm gonna go ahead and put, take my tree in here. And let's go ahead and just I'm gonna I'm gonna put a couple of trees right down here in the bottom right, I think. I only need to ink up the two trees. I mean it's not gonna hurt if I ink up the three, but and I'm stamping them off. So there we have a coordinated inside. We'll just Always nice to have thank you notes on hand. This would make a great thank you note if you received a Christmas gift. Or if somebody, if you were supposed to work on Christmas and somebody switched with you, what a nice act of kindness that would be. So there is our simple card. Yes, Nicole, I, I meant you have to remove that black ring. Oh, 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 you mean on the new one, you're right. Yes, that's what I was thinking afterwards. Um, so let me, let me see if I can show you what she's talking about. Well, I could, if I could find what I did with that Wink of Stella pen. These are both the old ones. So I could show you, but I can't because I just did something with it and I don't know where it is. But there is a black ring in there that you remove. Oh, found it. See how it doesn't go all the way together? There's this black ring in here. You just need to open it, remove that ring. And then it will puncture the barrel and let the stuff flow at when you push it. I'm not going to right now though, because the other one's working. Thank you, Nicole. Okay, so this is almost an entirely monochromatic card, except for that one spot. But you don't have to do um, a monochrome card. 
let's go ahead and do this again very quickly because that card including me talking and messing up with wink of stella you know was you know um 15 minutes i'm gonna bring in my evening evergreen best green ever i really i really think that it is the best green ever i'm going to redo my trees Oh, I should have restamped. Oh, whatever. Let's try over here. And I forgot to stamp off and then stamp again. So there's some more in the background. I can even do some more too. All right. There's our little forest. Let me clean my stamp again. So this card, uh, this, this set looks like it's a lot more work than it really is. It goes nicely. Let me show you some of the other things that are in this stamp set. So there's a fence. Um, there's what's probably a cloud, but it could also be a, a snowbank. Several sentiments and some snowflakes. And for the dies, you've got some detail for the trees. You've got the fence outline. You've got a fence itself. You've got a cabin die. If you wanted to die cut a cabin, you've got some snowflakes. And you've got um, the trees. And this is the little fox. If you wanted to put him on his own little knoll, you could do that. And of course, there's this one that we already used and we will use in just another second. Let's set that aside. I'm going to now bring in Soft Suede, which is gonna make for a great cabin. Let me get my, well, let me get Sheila's stamp out. Pull in another, another piece of cardstock. Got my cabin in soft suede. Again, I probably want about an inch down. And I moved it over a little bit this time. And we want to cut it out again. Bring back my stamp and cut and emboss. My plate over so it gets even wear and I'm sure somebody is trying to remind me right now you don't need a big piece of sticky you're right I don't I'll put this in here line it up that looks good pulls it down just a little bit run it through so much easier to getting just a teeny tiny piece of sticky off all right that's a little Ragtaggy, so let's do that. Okay. So there's my cabin. We need to bring in our fox again. Uh, I'm going to stamp in Tuxedo Black. Make him a little bit more vibrant. Plus I'm using blends, so that'll definitely not smear when I'm using my blends. The other one didn't either, but I'm not coloring enough to matter much. 
And I don't know if you noticed, but I leave his, his the tip of his tail white, because often fox have a white tip on their tail, and some of his face a little white as well. I start with the light pumpkin pie. And I leave his snout. I try to leave what is his snout. White. There you go. He's so cute. I think he is the, he's adorable. He really is. I'm going to bring my saying back in, and I think I'm going to do that in Evening Evergreen this time. Look at that, nice and straight. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this particular card be was because it would give me the opportunity to remind you that my Peaceful Places Designer Series Paper Christmas Card class is coming up November 5th, but the deadline to register is this Tuesday. And that's because I want to make sure I can get all the supplies needed. I went ahead and ordered a few just in case, uh, a few supplies, but not all of them. And I'm hoping the supply issues won't be a big deal. So if you are interested in that, registration is closing on Tuesday. Here's my piece of Evening Evergreen. It is 30 cards for $35, and that includes everything that you need except for a paper trimmer and basic adhesive, whether you like stamp and seal or the liquid glue or whatever. I'll supply everything else. If you are a person that wants to do it by mail, which means that you can complete it on your own, then you would also need the inks. So you would need a smoky slate ink, I think, and you could probably get away with just smoky slate or basic black, you know, the tuxedo black. Um, there is one card where we will do some white embossing. If you don't have embossing, that's okay too. Um, you can just, you know, make do with something else. But here is the colored version of the card. Of course, we need to, uh, let's see. Should I stamp the, I could stamp the cabin down here. Um, I'm gonna huff on it and just stamp the cabin in the lower corner. So it's just very, very light. If you don't like that look, you can flip it over and do it again, but I'm okay with it. Or you could not just do it again, you could do it full strength, you could put the trees in there, whatever you wanted. I just went with something different. But there's that card. Oh, we didn't add any snow here, did we? Hmm. Let's go ahead and add some snow. Let me press this uh, push where it says push, that gets some more flowing. I just kind of make some snow banks. Make the snow on the roof shine and shimmer. And there we go. Oh, the little gray cloud stamp is for smoke from the chimney. That's a lot of smoke. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Yep, it could be smoke from the chimney. Or it could be a cloud. Either one. Or it could be snow. Like a little snow patch. That would be great for the spring. You could make sort of a greenish, and and you could make a, a patch of snow left over. You know how we sometimes get the snow patches that don't want to go? But, anyway. Which one's your favorite? 
Now you could, I've seen on online where you can color this grassy. I mean, it doesn't have to be a winter look. You can make it look non-wintry, but since I like winter a lot, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep it wintry probably. Um, because when it comes time to, for spring, I'm not thinking about cabins. I am thinking about um, flowers and all those things. So anyway, that is the Peaceful Cabin bundle. And it actually is really uh, quite a, a, a great deal, actually. Let me look at, uh, so this is the Peaceful Cabin bundle. Um, it's $54, comes with all those stamps and, and all the dies. Um, so the dies alone, you know, can be used with other sets as well, because who doesn't, you know, you can use trees all by themselves. Um, so the dies and the stamps, you don't even have to use the cabin, but it is a really, really nice, nice set. And it is available through the end of December.